It's time for another review. What's up, this is Omar from DeviantNoise.com, the best place on the internet to learn how to make music if you're a beginner. And today we're gonna talk about Splice. In this Splice review, we're gonna go through what Splice is, what you get with your membership, and whether or not it's actually worth it to spend your hard-earned money on a monthly subscription to this sound library. Let's get right into it. So Splice, everybody knows, you know, if you've been making music, you know what Splice is, you've heard about it. It's probably the world's largest marketplace of sounds, presets, patterns, instruments, all that kind of stuff. It's a really dope website. And you know what? Getting right to how I feel about it, I f love Splice. I think it's great. I think if you're a songwriter or you're a producer, honestly, I'm giving it a five out of five stars because it's just, it's one of the best things out, honestly. If you make beats or if you write songs, Splice is a lifesaver. It's a necessary tool. So should you subscribe? Spoiler alert, yeah, you should. So really quick, if you don't know what Splice is, most of you probably do. Splice is the world's largest marketplace of sounds. It's subscription-based. You pay monthly, ranging from $9.99 a month up to $29.99 a month, and you get a certain amount of credits, which you can use to download sounds, presets, MIDI patterns, things like that. Now, a lot of people hate the subscription model. Like, everything is going subscription nowadays, whether it's DAWs, membership things, or even instrument packs, a lot of things are going subscription, and that shit adds up. Like, you know, especially on top of your Netflixes, and your Spotify, and your cell phone bill, and your internet access, and on and on and on and on. It adds up. But the thing is, it's just good. It works. I know people don't like the subscription model, and you shouldn't have to constantly pay for sounds, but the thing is, if you're spending like maybe $20, $30 a month on average buying sound packs, you might as well just subscribe to Splice, because you ain't gotta buy the entire sound sound pack on Splice. You can just buy individual samples or loops that you like. And that's really the beauty of Splice. And that's why I think it's worth it. It's worth every penny to me. I, I'm not a constant subscriber to Splice. I subscribe on and off, but I use it all the time and I love it. It's got great sounding stuff. So there are three different membership levels. There's the main one, which is you get 100 Splice credits per month for $9.99. Uh, you don't get a lot much else. You get some of the perks like the desktop app and stuff like that. The next one up is called the creator level and it's $13.99 a month US. You get 200 credits per month, but you also get access to the skills learning tutorial section and all of that stuff. So that's pretty dope. That's that's kind of worth it. The highest level is the creator plus level, which is $29.99 a month, and you get 500 splice credits every single month, plus everything that's included in all the other membership tiers. Now you can pay monthly or you can pay annually. If you pay annually, I think you get two months free. It's a little bit discounted. Paying monthly is probably the better option because you're probably not going to use it all the time. Sometimes you might go into like a splice phase where you're just using a ton of shit that you get from splice but then you might go back to some of the vsts you have and make your own samples and loops and stuff like that now there's a couple of really dope things about the platform there's a couple of things that ain't so great about the platform so first thing that's really dope is if you don't use your credits from this month like i got 200 credits this month and if you don't use them you, they roll over into the next month so if i only use 50 whatever's left over they get rolled over into the next month but if you cancel your subscription those credits are gone they're gone you have access to the sounds you downloaded but i'm not sure what the royalty licensing situation is with that that's something that you'd have to check out. If you're not subscribed, do you still have a license to use the sounds that you got from Splice? I'm not sure. So what's good about Splice? Literally unlimited amounts of sounds right at your fingertips, whatever you want. You search it, you need a hi-hat, you got a ton of hi-hats. You need a drum sample, something, you need a loop, a melodic piano chord loop or a guitar loop. You just search for it and there's tons of options for you. And they always have sound packs from some of the biggest producers in the game. You can search by tempo, type, popularity, keyword, all that kind of stuff. You can filter with a bunch of different filters and it makes it really easy to find exactly what you're looking for. You can search by key, you can search by tempo, whatever you want. You can preview and download the individual sounds, not the entire sound pack if you don't want. You don't have to spend all your credits on one sound pack. If you just like this one snare from this particular pack, just download that, drop it into your beats, you're good to go. It has sounds for every genre imaginable. It doesn't matter what you make, you'll find sounds that are tailored towards your genre. They've got a desktop app and uh, a little VST bridge type thing which integrates nicely with certain DAWs. Not every DAW, which kind of sucks because it doesn't integrate with Pro Tools very well. But if you use an FL Studio or Ableton Live, you're good to go. This whole new skills section that they started with like the video tutorials from some of the more famous producers out there, like Kenny Beats, that's really dope. I think that's a good new addition to Splice. It wasn't there when I first started using Splice. Splice. You can get some of the sounds from the biggest names in the game. Kashmir, Boy Wonder, Murder Beats. Another really dope thing about Splice is they have a rent to own program for some of those more expensive VST synths and effects and things like that. So stuff like Serum. Serum costs a couple hundred dollars I think but you can rent to own $9.99 a month until you pay it off and then you're good to go. And they have a bunch of DAW synths, instruments, and effects that are on rent to own. That's separate from the actual subscription to the credits but it's a nice, it's a nice feature to have. But it's not all fancy roses and gummy bears and stuff like that because 
because there's an unlimited selection of sounds, it's a little bit overwhelming sometimes. When you have access to too much, you really do find it tough to make a decision and get shit done. It can paralyze you sometimes. That can be a pretty big problem. If you unsubscribe, your credits are lost. And if you're on one of the lower plans, if you've got like 100 credits per month, it can be kind of easy to run out. You might spend that on a couple of sound packs if you want the entire pack. So what's up, y'all? I'm here editing this video and I just realized that I forgot to mention a couple of things. The two biggest drawbacks to Splice. So the first one is obviously this is like a publicly accessible sound library, right? So there's a good chance you're going to end up using the sounds and the loops that a ton of other people have used. I'm sure they've got like thousands and thousands of users. So the chances of you using sound and loops and melodies that everybody else is using is hot. Way to get around that is just dig deep into the sample library. Don't use the stuff on the charts and the trending stuff. Try to dig deep if you can. Second thing is it can become a crutch. If you use it too much, you stop growing as a music producer. You're just using other people's melodies. You're using other people's drum loops and things like that. It's a good idea to try to make your own shit too. Those two things are the biggest drawbacks to Splice. You want to be very wary of them. Don't use the same sounds that everybody else is using or mess around with them a bit so that they become a little more unique and don't use it so much that it becomes a crutch and you stop growing as a music producer. Personally, I think the creator pack is probably the best for most people. Creator plus, if you're going to use nothing but Splice and you're going to use a ton of stuff from Splice, then you might need 500 credits, but that's a little bit overkill if you ask me. They also have like little credit top-up packs. So who is Splice best for? Listen, if you're a producer or a songwriter, it does, it's not just for producers because you can get drum loops and melody loops and everything like that, chord progressions, whatever, and use them in your songwriting. You don't have to be just a music producer. If you're a songwriter, Splice is great for YouTube. So if you're a music producer or a songwriter and you want a continually growing, almost unlimited selection of sounds that you can use to craft songs, Splice is your dream. If you don't like buying entire sound packs to get one or two sounds that you really like, Splice is perfect for that too. I'm, I'm that type of dude. I do buy full sound packs, but it's kind of like back in the day when you bought a CD and you only like two of the songs, you still had to spend $20 on the CD just to get those two songs and that was kind of whack. So, you know, that's why people started stealing music. But with Splice, they can make it easy for you to get the sounds you want and not worry about the sounds that you're not really interested in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the computer. I'm going to share my screen with you again. What we're going to do is we're going to make a beat using nothing but sounds from Splice. So no VSTs, no other drum kits that I own, no other nothing. I'm just going to find some sounds in Splice and I'm going to put together a quick beat and use FL Studio. Let's get right to it. All right, y'all. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the Splice website, got my subscription and everything. So this is the skills area. This is new to Splice and it's a bunch of producers, you know, giving tips and tricks and things like that. This is the one I'm most interested in, the legendary Kenny Beats. So these are some of the lessons that come in it. Groove box sequencing techniques, reverse engineering, deconstructing a synth patch. That would be interesting to watch, actually. Disguising your samples. That'll be good, too. Gain staging, super important. Beat deconstruction, writing chords and harmonies for future bass. Designing hybrid reverbs, Kenny Beats on vocal production and samples. Full soul sample from start to finish. Oh, this one, I'm gonna love this one. That one I'm looking forward to watching. Musicianship and gear, mixing essentials, building. How many f***ing skills are there? coaching vocalists in the studio. This one is super important. I've been in some studio sessions with people that I really admire and I probably came off as a really pushy, made them uncomfortable, that kind of thing. So this is important to have if you're a producer. It's going to take forever to go through them all and they just keep coming and coming and coming. This is a lot more than I thought there would be. So let's go into the sound section now. So this is the sounds area where you can get whatever sound you're looking for. You can browse and filter things and browse by pack or you can search. There's charts here. These are my life the ones that I like the most and then these are the ones that I've downloaded I guess that I can download again because I've already purchased them and then there's a daily picks collection right here which is kind of interesting you can come in and see what splice is saying is trending cool so that's the sounds area plugins these are the rent to own plugins and there's some for sale and there's some free plugins down here too contest entries so we can click on the contest area and these are past contests and then you got the blog section right here which they're always continuously updating to get their desktop app what you do is you click on on your little thing here and click install desktop app let's see what we can come up with yeah so i've got fl studio open and i've also got the splice app open so let's see i don't want to go into the charts because that's going to be popular stuff that everybody is using so let's just browse some random things here yeah house jazz cinematic sounds from around the world pop packs let's make a pop song yeah you know what let's get i'm gonna get a melody or a chord progression or something like that from one of the pop packs here synthetic sunsets that kind of sounds interesting yeah let's check out what they got so this is the page. You can play a demo right here, get the entire pack, or just kind of save it to your favorites if you want. I'm gonna go to samples, just loops, and any BPM is fine. These are MIDI progressions, so these are preset MIDI files. I'm not really interested in that right now. What I want to do is check the samples out. 
Okay, so I don't want drums, I just want synth and brass and woodwinds maybe. Let's see what these are. What I'm looking for is just something that kind of like sticks out to me, kind of catches my ear. Not too crazy about it, it was alright. Let's check something else out. Let's go with genres and we'll go to pop. Uh, let's go chords. Like that shit's fire. That's the one. I like that. What was that in? E minor. So we're gonna be making a beat that's in E minor. Key E minor. Don't need the chords anymore. So that loop should show up in the splice app right here. So let's just drag it right into the arrangement window, get it started like that. See, it's like super easy to use splice to just drag and drop this. Shit. Let me put this up to 145. I think I'm gonna go a little bit faster than that. Let's drag this back in. There we go. Turn the metronome on. There we go. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. Snaps. Those Kashmir packs are solid, man. I like this one. So I got that. It's gotta wait for this to refresh, I guess. Bro, what is happening here? I literally just updated this. Now this app is completely different. Now I need a snare, some type of snare. I want a hip hop snare. That OZ snare, that's solid, I like that one. There we go, OZ snare. Southside snare trap. Let's look for that. Southside snare. I like that. I want that one in there too. Alright, so what can we do next? Let's uh, look for some hi hats. Takes a little minute for the, uh, the thing to sync up. I like this one. Just made it. It would be nice if they added a refresh button to this, don't you think? This should be on pattern three. Paste. Let's find the kick drum. Just finish off this drum pattern and then move on to maybe some more sounds. Kinda like this one. That's gonna need some more power. Let's boost that up all the way. Nope. There we go. Take the clip off. <laughs> 
Drums are sounding all right. Let's look for another E minor sound that we can use. Let's look at some synths. Want something in E minor. If we could do 165, that would be great. We got. The BBL synth. <laughs> That sounds, that sounds dope for this one, actually. Yo, you can always count on the BBL, baby. There we go. Let's bring this BBL up in here. We don't need too many sounds to have a good beat, right? We just need to make the arrangement nice. So let's see if there's anything else we can find. I don't want to make it too busy. Might be like a nice little energy lift. I'm gonna take that, I might not use it. I don't know. That's nice too. It's nice like ear candy. I'm taking this too, I don't know, it's nice. It sounds good. Like I said, I might not use them all. Two thousand years later. That might be the bass. Now let's stretch this. Might be too busy. But just underneath a little bit, it might sound okay. There's this, there's this. are just solid everything is solid everything sounds good the drums the melodies the bass like everything just sounds great and again we're just using some sounds from splice we used 10 sounds from splice and this is what we came up with <laughs> You make beats if you're a producer you gotta use splice a little bit you just you, you got to so yeah 10 sounds about an hour later this is what it is 13.99 a month is the pack that i'm on the 200 samples because i'm not really gonna use too many splice samples i've got a lot of vsts and stuff but the skills i definitely want to check out those skills lessons and yeah get splice it's worth it 100%. So, as you can see, it's really easy to use Splice. They've got a ton of great sounding loops and drum sounds, and they've got MIDI patterns, VST presets, and all of that other good stuff, too. But the sounds are great. It was really easy to find what I was looking for. This is random stuff. It was completely random. They weren't all from one pack or anything like that. It was completely random sounds off of Splice. All I did was search for what I was looking for, and it came up. I downloaded it. It went to the desktop app. From the desktop app, I dragged it into my DAW. Real, real easy. And we made a dope beat. I like that beat. 
beat. I saved the beat and it was really easy to do. I found 10 different sounds, made the beat. I started with a chord progression, then I added some drums and I had some ear candy pieces that kind of dragged in from there. Again, all random from random sound kits, not even those sound kits from like those really top music producers, the famous ones, which is random shit. And it sounded great. I loved it. And that's what I really love about Splice. It's easy, it's good, and it's cheap. It's what it is. So what's my final verdict on Splice? Bottom line, it's worth every penny. If you make music, if you're a beat maker, music producer, or a songwriter, you make music of any type, Splice is an invaluable resource. I honestly believe that. I use it all the time. I don't think you need to subscribe forever, forever. You just need to subscribe when you feel like you need some new sounds. I subscribe for a couple of months, then I won't be subscribed for a couple of months, and then I'll go back and I'll subscribe again because I want some new sounds. The only thing I would say is just be careful not to make it a crutch. It's easy because you got this unlimited solution collection of really dope professional sounding stuff. You just go and you find the loops that you like and you mix and match and then you don't really grow as a music producer or as a songwriter. You know, sometimes you should try to make your own stuff from scratch using VSTs and effects and other instruments and audio recordings and things like that. So don't use it as a crutch. It's really easy to fall into that. But other than that, I do highly recommend Splice for anybody that makes any type of music, no matter what genre you're in. You will find something useful for yourself. So if you're interested in trying out Splice for free for 14 days, there is an affiliate link in the description below. Check it out. You get two weeks free to try it out. If you want to subscribe, that would be really dope too. I recommend doing the creator plan with the 200 credits because you also get the skills platform. If you're looking for a good place to start in terms of sound packs and what to look for, my favorites are the Boy Wonder Kit, Bear Sounds for Your Head Top. There's the Wonder Girl Sample Pack. Taylor Park Sample Pack is really dope. Got some really interesting sounding percussion elements and stuff like that in her pack. Great pack for pop. I like the Scott Storch Kit, the Murder Beats Kit. Amazing drums in it. I use it all the time. Southside's got a kit, uh, Palace and Russian have a drum kits that are pretty dope, and then there's a pack called the Fantastic Sounds of JD, which is a J Dilla drum kit. Those are my favorite kits, I use them all the time, and you'll probably like them a lot too. Definitely check them out. Like I said before, there's a link in the description below for a free 14-day trial from Splice. It is an affiliate link, but everybody's gotta eat. I really appreciate it if you do decide to use that link, that would be really dope. And make sure you definitely check out the entire write-up that we have, our written splice review at deviantnoise.com. It goes into a little bit more detail than I did here. And let me know in the comments what you think. Have you used splice before? Are you thinking of using splice? Do you not like splice? Let me know if you don't think it's worth it. Tell me why, because I think it's super worth it. But I mean, I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Make sure you like this video if you found it helpful. Hit the dislike if you thought it was trash. Subscribe to the channel because we're going to try to bring out regular content for you about making music. My name was Omar from DeviantNoise.com. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out. Peace.